guys and welcome to another episode of farm sim <clears throat> back working on that uh, landing that we had discovered there last episode as you can see up on the hill I've got uh, a couple new processors I'm testing out uh, that one up there I believe is a uh, caterpillar um, I really like that one but uh, unfortunately the head I seem to be having the same problem with both heads on uh, both the, the uh, Cabelco and the cat um, I believe they actually both have the same head but it just does a lot of twists it does a lot of weird stuff so I know we drove that uh, the heck is this thing now ponies uh, processor up there in the uh, the last episode but I had sold that one um, and as soon as I get another one of these and actually I might have one I'm gonna take a look right now so I had downloaded one but uh, farm tech no I wouldn't be farm tech it would be Not sure. Looks like a reskinned version, really. These are the uh, two Cabelcos. I uh, don't really know what the difference is besides it says location and zero dollars. Uh, but I got one of each. Um, two. Two of that one, as a matter of fact. By accident, and now I can't sell it. So, um. I think something's up with my mouse. It's been double clicking a lot lately. I did get rid of this guy. Um, guy said he had fixed the controls from being reversed, but it looks like he actually hurt other controls on it, if you ask me. So, um, oh, what are we doing here? We're in the specific categories. Um, so yeah, this is the caterpillar. I really do like this guy. It's got the uh, the just the twin boom versus the three. Of the uh, link belt or Cabelco, because you got the uh, primary, secondary, and then accessory or whatever the heck you want to call it. I'm not used to three different booms. It's very difficult uh, to get your controllers set up for that. Where this one is a walk in the park for me. Um, but I know I did buy another processor. Or, uh, Buffalo, but downloaded one. It was one that we had in the uh, way back when, and uh, it was a flop, but they came out with a newer version of it. Um, but I forgot if it was Timber Jack or what it was, so now I'm just gonna have to look real quick. And I do apologize for not having this straightened out, but I just literally rem remembered that I had downloaded it um, the way it's looking it doesn't look like I had put it in the mods folder properly which really is no big surprise huh. yeah that's definitely not here Kind of odd. It's even off that stupid site that I hate waiting for. Hmm. Well, I apologize in advance. Well, I'll keep going with this guy. And I was just trying, uh, just trying to um, get used to the control setup and whatnot. I had FDR's mods in here. I think I've got his timber jack. Um, shovel. But his controls, and even this control, um, 
for this third arm is not to my liking, but you know, I can't really do much with it, I guess. But so I'm coming up here, uh, and what I wanted to do is just come up here and process and process and process, but my stacking has really kind of gone to crap, so I figured I'd bring this thing up here and try to uh, get some of the bad chunks out of there and uh, get back to used to using this. And like I said, I am using deer control, so I do apologize if it's not to your liking by any means. It's just going to take me a bit to get used to uh, the deer. It's completely backwards. Used to SAE where this is ISO. No, 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 no. Take this one out. Yeah, I can't throw it. Uh, I know there's two little chunks in here. Alright guys, do apologize for the sudden pause. My boy just woke up, so I had to take care of that real quick. Oh, come on. It's almost like watching somebody with a mouse and keyboard work now, I bet. <laughs> Absolute horrible if I had to do that again, man, oh man. I would never have started logging with a mouse and keyboard. Honestly, can tell you that. Man, this feels so weird. And I am trying very, very hard. Normally it's just a fluid moment, movement. Go. 
like all my buddies when they first get sticks. <laughs> it's kind of funny to watch them. Or guys that, you know, get joysticks and never really operated anything. See him going all wonky all over the place and whatnot. Come on. I think that log right there needs to get up. Top of the pile. I'm finding myself doing some things that are kind of lazy with the joysticks instead of uh, trying to extend out and notice that I'm trying to get away from using them um, while I'm doing this like by using the extension tool instead of reaching because I don't remember what control does what uh, this is a this is a pretty common uh, control I know I uh, went in and helped my buddy put in a septic system last week um, got his own business he works for the state with me um, <clears throat> and he told me to get into the backhoe and he's got a uh, older uh, John Deere 210 uh, TLB and I got in that freaking thing and yeah the linkages and stuff like that were really you know uh, worn out and pins and just the thing it looks beautiful but it, it does uh, it does need some does need some refreshing in a lot of areas and uh, I went and I, I dug my first dug my first uh, full bucket of freaking material out and I threw up my hands and I said okay bud go ahead it was just not great and uh, I kind of made it a point to myself that I wanted to uh, come home and uh, do some log and you know do some do some of this to get me back into the uh, the realm of running excavators and whatnot because I do have these uh, things at work that are coming up and the way the state is is if you're not a mechanic uh, basically if you want to switch your controls you need a mechanic uh, you're really not allowed to touch any of that stuff you know it's not any of your knowledge uh, basically even if you were a mechanic before you went there or whatever, you know, but, uh, the state doesn't look at it like that. The state look at, looks at it as uh, certain tasks are done by certain people. So if that machine is left in John Deere controls and, uh, you know, no mechanics there to change it. Not that uh, I really see all that many mechanics changing it. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much screwed, so, uh, yeah, made it a uh, point for myself to come in here and learn how to do this, um, just because I don't, I don't want to look like that again, you know, after especially being able to operate uh, so many things and having the privilege to operate so much equipment and then you know, just jumping into a backhoe, one of the first things that I freaking used to run as a kid and not even be able to, I mean, I could run it, but the problem was is I was very unfamiliar with the controls, and, uh, you know, he, he had, he's doing work for a customer, separate, or a leech field for a customer, tells me to get in the thing, and then, you know, the customer's looking at us, and, uh, you know, that doesn't look good for him. Is what I was thinking. You know, he's got a guy in here. And the customer's just watching me, and I'm, you know, first thing first, I just get in there, rev up the engine, and go at it. And, you know, jumpy controls, and trying to find this, and trying to find. Oh, God, I'm dead. It was not good. I didn't want, uh, you know, I didn't want that on the guy, so I hopped out and. Said, yeah, I'll uh, I'll get some more. I'll do that some more when you're not in front of customers. You know, I don't I don't need that for bad word for you. Come on. All right. 
right, that's what it was. It wasn't my boom being stuck. It was my controls being open. Because that is one weird thing with this uh, this excavator slash processor. If your controls are open just like this and you're ready to cut a tree, you lose a lot of power. I actually wasn't stuck. It was just the loss of power. As you can hear, idle down when I shut it off. So, we'll come back over here. And this is going to be a relatively short video, guys. Like I said, I'm just getting back into the swing. and uh, I'm trying to do as many videos today as possible for you guys. Uh, that way I can throw up some videos <coughs> this week. <coughs> because I am uh, very... Very, very busy um, with my little John Deere tractor. Uh, I've been working on that. I got uh, tires ordered. They should be here hopefully Tuesday. Um, and I did receive, I had already purchased tires for it. And I got both of them. But uh, I went with a bigger size in the back. Um, from a 23 inch to a 26 inch um, Firestone because I wanted uh, a little bit more aggressive lug rice and cane aggressive lug uh, versus the flotation look but I got uh, three rib for the uh, the front of it so it'll look like a uh, old tool drive And uh, I got it running, got it running beautiful. Um, she smokes a lot, <laughs> so I know I know the uh, the engine is gonna be something in the future. I think I've already got one uh, in mind. If I stick with the uh, the gas jobs, I would really like to go to a little diesel, but uh, you know it's all what's available at that certain time I mean I can't go blowing a thousand dollars on a diesel engine then again the gas jobby the uh, I was looking at the what is it Vanguard engines a lot of people put them in the uh, the 140 so uh, I haven't really decided what exactly I'm gonna do it when this engine does quit and it's probably gonna quit I burn about, I don't know, a half a quart. Probably, probably once a week. Maybe. Maybe every time I mow my lawn. I don't know yet. It's, I know uh, I've got quite a few hours on it just driving it around, dialing in the carburetor, stuff like that. Um, and uh, I just had to put a half a quart in it yesterday. So um, here we go, going backwards controls again. Um, oh no, okay. Oh, why that one's so long, but uh, yeah, so videos on that should be coming up. Um, like I said, very hard to record at my parents, uh, in their garage and stuff like that, you know, and everybody's around. So I kind of nip that in the butt, uh, but we do have some uh, pretty exciting stuff coming up, and uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's all going to go on this channel or, um, or if I'm going to make another one. I haven't really uh, decided yet. I have kind of put it around in my head to... Uh, Make another channel for the gaming. And uh, leave or take every all the videos off of this channel and put them into a like uh, Rubberside Gaming or rename the channel Rubberside Gaming and then make another channel with Rubberside Down. I haven't really, because I, I mean, I've got a lot of stuff I'd like to show outside of work and 
anytime I really try to do it on this channel, I kind of, I don't get very good feedback from it. So I, I don't know. We will see. But, uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. And, uh, you know, let me know if you guys like these uh, kind of shorter videos. I mean, I really didn't do much here. I did more when I was off camera. But, uh, short doses. That's what I'm going to have to do here. So, uh, yeah. Alright, guys. Let me know in the comments below. And I'm going to try do my best to get better with the comments um if i can't half the time that i read your guys comments it's on my phone while i'm at work on my phone while i'm busy um and then once i read them they don't pop up on my computer and i can't reply from my phone because it just says my name and i i don't i'm not releasing my name so um comments i'm going to try to uh, get a lot better with um and uh, i may start reading them on the air uh daily because i do get quite a few comments now um so yeah hopefully y'all enjoyed and uh we will see you next time huh